In our next exercise, we'll draw a summer tree that will help us discover and experience the technique of putting in some underlying um, shading, shadows, underlying textures with uh, brighter colors over the top. So our layering effect. And maybe we'll do a little um, texturing of our tree as well. So uh, let's get this back to the way it was and, and begin. We'll first start with um, our gradient sky. I'll create a diagonal line uh, across the sky. I, um, I want to make this so most of the tree is actually in the sky. So I'll start here. There's my diagonal line. And the sky is going to be um, somewhat bright. I'll use uh, sky blue, the paint bucket, and we'll pour that in. And now we'll create our gradient by clicking on resize and we've demonstrated this in earlier videos so I won't emphasize it now however if you just pause it if you need to you can see the steps that are made so now we have a gradient sky I'm going to make the ground of uh, one solid color we'll use green so I'll make color 2 green that will be the replacement color when I use the select tool the freeform selection to draw my uh, my general horizon. My goal here is to create something that appears to be about a third of the way up from the bottom. That should be good enough and paint bucket to fill in the rest. Okay, And this is where we're going to draw our tree. In this exercise we're going to spend, um, or we're going to emphasize um, mostly using shading and background colors uh, like we would in, f in painting. Uh, similar to what uh, Bob Ross might do. So I uh, hope you'll notice the difference. Well, we, we do need to get our tree trunk in. So we'll start with a regular paintbrush. I'll make sure my primary color is this brown and uh, the size will be a little bit bigger than normal. Using the Control Plus in MS Paint lets us enlarge the size. That's about right. And I do want my, pa my tree to be off-centered a little bit. So here it is. And we'll make a little what might look like a, a chicken foot and and I'll make my tree trunk a little bit wider in the bottom okay so these three trunks represent the first significant branches that lived in our tree and this growth that we have here represents the, the growth for the first year or so every subsequent branch we add will have about that length so I'll change my uh, my size to something smaller that's actually not big enough so control plus plus I want this to be about half the size of the original tree trunk so as I draw it out it looks like it's plausible that this is these are branches that come from this tree and I'm not going to do this very much in fact I'm only going to do one more layer or level of tree trunks or of, of, yeah, of, of branches because the rest is going to be covered with a spray can we're going to use spray can for our shading and highlighting Again, this is an exercise mostly to emphasize that kind of highlighting. We may do a little bit uh, on the trunk of the tree with some lines, but let's um, let's get right to work. I'm going to change my paintbrush to the spray can, and the first color I'm going to use is green, but not just green. I'm going to actually make it a darker green. So I'm going to click down below and click OK, and I'll spray in with a larger size paintbrush or spray can because I want this to be smoother and I'm going to make sure I cover most of the ends of these branches. I just don't want anybody to see that there are just stubs in the sky. So I'll make sure that they're blacked out. Now in a tree, and this is a summer tree, in a tree we do have areas of our tree that are that allow this the sky to shine through. But for the most part we have, we have lots of leaves and this tree is going to actually reach all the way to the top of our screen and maybe even beyond. So I'll pick some spaces in here where I'll make it a little bit richer and darker. So this is considered an underlayment or underneath our tree. So this is where our branches will, will go over the top of this. And this isn't our whole tree. So if we were drawing this uh, as an elementary student we may actually settle for this but we're not done. So on the inner part that's where many of our darker areas will be because it's shaded and really that's what we're depicting is what is shaded. So have you noticed I'm, I'm using round or circular strokes 
I, I never let my paintbrush stand still. The dots will fill the screen on a consistent pattern. So if I hold it in one spot, it'll make it solid eventually. And if I were to move it away slower, it's thicker, and as I move it away faster, it gets thinner. Well, we're not going to keep that, but that's that's how this, this spray can works. I'm going to switch back over to the regular green and put a little bit of that over the top of this, not a lot, just here and there. And when I do it, I'll tend to be on the upper side of where that darker green was. Because the implication is, as I put that in, that there's more sunlight for these. And even now, we're still doing underlayment, our tree looks a little bit more natural. Let's continue on. I'm going to switch now to the this straight palette, the, the light green, the yellow green and place those leaves over the top of these making sure I at least get the outsides of everything because that is where the sun actually shines especially up here so I'll pick these and as you can see some of our some of our tree is off screen so this upper edge and we may even have some areas where uh, it's almost solid this color because it's just that exposed to the sunshine so again, every time I do this, it's always across the top of that upper edge. And I will make sure it goes to the outside edge of, of everything. So even through here. Okay. We're almost done. Next, I'll use a, a little yellow. But I'll be, I'm being very careful. I'll use it sparingly. I'll just brush it across the, the, top or part, uh, the upper parts or out, outer edges. Because this is, this is where the sun is shining the most on our tree. And our tree, because of its highlights, the sun is either right above us or uh, behind us. But it's certainly shining on this side of the tree. So I'm just giving highlight to some of these parts of the tree that are prominent out here. Now, I can make this part of the tree stick out. If I go back to my light-colored green, make sure I have a nice solid region in there and then go back to my yellow and put yellow across the top now I just made this stick out so it looks like it's sticking out and you know we could do more with this but I think I think we're done so let's save this um, but I did promise if we had a little time and we do that we would put a little texture to our tree we use the techniques that uh, we demonstrated in the past which is watercolor I'll go to my brown I'll choose a, a darker brown, click OK. The size of my watercolor, yeah, that's a reasonable size. And we'll start from the top and uh, work down on the underside. That seems a little bit big. Control Z. And work on the underside of my branch because our tree is shadowed a bit more up there. And I'll go uh, uh, shade lighter as I go down. This is almost taking longer than drawing the tree in the first place. Okay, and. Um, a shade lighter than our brown. So I'll, I'll go back to our basic brown and then, that's not it, go back to our basic brown and just go a, a shade or so lighter. And we'll do this side of the tree. Control Z. There's where a stump or a branch used to be. Now I suppose a lot of this should have been done before we put the leaves on, but I'm fine with this. Okay, and if we want to, we can put some contrasting lines in here to give our bark a little texture. especially on the t high sides, the brighter sides. 
even on the dark side because we're going to give that as a fair treatment. So use our darker brown. As you can tell, I'm not taking too much care in this. There, I think I'm done. So we'll save this as a summer tree.